This story is adorable. Deval Patrick decided to hop into the Democratic primary, and um, he's already imploding. He's already imploding. He's got a terrible record. Remember, he's a really like the quintessential corporate Democrat. He worked for Bain Capital. Bain Capital. That's the the company, very scandalous company, vulture capitalist. Mitt Romney um, was heavily involved with it, and they they harvested companies for a profit. This guy has been running in the worst circles for years now. So take a look at this. Former Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick said he isn't crazy about accepting support from super PACs, but he will as he seeks the Democratic presidential nomination. Asked Sunday on NBC's Meet the Press by host Chuck Todd if he would swear off accepting super PAC money, Patrick said, We need to do some catch-up, so I think we've got to follow and find all sorts of above-board strategies. The former Bain Capital executive's position on fundraising is sure to make a bid at winning over liberals who have been lukewarm to his late entry in the presidential race even more challenging. Patrick's decision comes from, uh, after former Vice President Joe Biden decided to reverse course last month and accept funding from super PACs. So just, just so everybody knows... I mean, it's cor that's corruption. What they're admitting, what Deval Patrick is admitting, and what Biden admitted before is, I can't make it if I'm not corrupt. <laughs> that's what they're saying. I'm so I can't. I can't make it if I'm not corrupt. We know. We know. And we know you won't make it when you are corrupt either. You're going nowhere. But isn't that stunning? Because And here's the thing. He doesn't... I mean, they're so bullheaded and they're so used to being in this ocean of corruption all this time that they don't realize what they're saying. They don't realize how this comes across. They don't realize that the question is actually a lot more serious than you think it is. You think you're just getting asked a question about or where are you going to get your funding from? No, the question is, hey, are you going to be principled and represent the people and raise uh, the small dollar way? Or are you going to sell out and have massive influence from industry and billionaires and take their money and then have to do their bidding when you get elected? They don't get that. Because they're so used to the corruption that they think it's duh. They think, like, what do you mean? This is how it works. I raise money, and then I get in office, and I return favors for people who help me out. And sure, it's big money people. Sure, it's corporations. Sure, it's the rich. So, like, yes, they're so used to it that they don't think anything of it. They just think, what do you mean? This is how it is, and it's never been any different, and it never will be any different. But that's not true. But that's not true. First of all, it wasn't always like this, because we used to have much stricter rules about money in politics. Um, and then it was the late 1970s where the court cases started coming in that eventually totally ruled that money equals free speech. Um, but also, the future is not going to continue to be like this because people won't stand for it anymore. This is why, one of the main reasons why we're in a populist and anti-establishment era is because people see the corruption. They know it's corruption, and they're disgusted by it. But Deval Patrick can't help himself. He's like, oh, well, um, you know, I got some catching up to do, so what are you going to do? <laughs> I got some catching up to do, so what do you want to do? That's like saying, yeah, okay, I'm opening a business on this street, but you know what? The competition's really good, so am I going to get some help from the mafia? I mean, I got some catching up to do. I got to be open to all these ideas. <laughs> that's what that's like. Sure, sure, just have the mafia help me and threaten my opponents and, you know, fund me and we'll be all good. <laughs> that's not okay. That's not a thing. So anyway, this shows how out of touch these guys are. With Joe Biden, it was even more stark because it was like quite literally he was massively lagging behind Bernie Sanders with fundraising. Bernie Sanders raised $30 million in a quarter and Biden raised nine. And so it was like the next day he was like, yeah, you know, you know, the thing I said about not taking super PAC money. Well, if somebody wants to actually make a super PAC for us, what am I going to do? Am I going to tell him no? Is that what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell him no. <laughs> And so people created super PACs and they're funneling them money. So now, just so you know, you could have just like a handful of rich people fund the entire campaign. Just a handful of rich people. Just have them fund the entire campaign. Now let me ask you a question. What is Deval Patrick and what is Joe Biden? What are they going to do? What are they going to do when the people who funded their campaign, the handful of billionaires who funded their campaign, when they call them, when they're in the White House? Now, again, they're not getting there, so LOL. But what would they do? You know that they would do favors for them. You understand that that's the nature of the gross business that is politics. But we're trying to change that. And that's why electing Bernie Sanders is so important. 
because he's not going to represent billionaires. He's not going to represent money interests. He's going to represent the people. And so that's why, you know, last in 2016, $27 is how much he's, he's raising. That's the average donation. Um, and I don't know what it is this time, but I'm sure it's about that. I'm sure it's about that. So this is who they are. Everybody needs to understand that this is who they are. There is a civil war for the heart of the Democratic Party and the future of the country. And you have rank corporatists, corrupt corporatists on one side, and you have populists fighting for the people on the other side. And from now on, you know, people like to slam purity tests. Wrong. Don't. A purity test just means you have standards. Now, you know, I might look at your purity test and say, hmm... You go a little too far in it, and I don't agree with you. That's possible. Like, it's possible to have a purity test, and it's just a bad purity test. Um, but should you have some standards? Should you have some things where you say, I can't bend on this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should have some things that you can't bend on because you have standards. You're looking for specific things. So a politician needs to represent your interest. Um, and this is one of those things that's like, bare minimum basic level stuff because even when somebody says oh I don't take super PAC money there's still other kinds of money that are questionable so like this is step one is like don't take corporate PAC money don't take super PAC money and they're not even passing that first step I mean at least politicians like um, Kirsten Gillibrand and there were some others who were not they're, they're establishment Democrats but they understood the times better and so they're like oh Okay, no corporate PAC money. Now, they would still have these big money dinners where individuals give them the max donation from all these different corporations. So they're still corrupt. Don't get me wrong. But even they understood, I'm not, you can't do corporate PAC money. You can't do super PAC money. That goes way too far because it's so obviously corruption. Deval Patrick, Joe Biden, missed the memo, don't care. And this explains why, this shows why, this is going to be embarrassing for both of them. Uh, ultimately, they're going to flail, particularly Deval Patrick, but even Joe Biden. I really do think he's on borrowed time still. It's a minor miracle he's still leading in some polls. Um, but, yeah, it's embarrassing. It's a new political age, and um, they need to adjust with the times, and they're incapable of doing it. But then on the other hand, we should be thanking them because um, since they're showing their true colors, at least everybody gets the real picture. At least everybody knows, like, oh, okay, so that's who that guy is. Super PAC-loving, silly corporatist. Got it. 